Hey everyone, it's Doppler 10 Meteorologist Ross Caruso. This time of the year when things get very hot, we can have things such as heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, and even an excessive heat watch. But what all does this mean? Well, to start things off, when we are looking at temperatures that are forecasted to be into the 90s, the humidity is high, we could be looking at something called a heat advisory. That's highlighted here into the orange. Further out to the southwestern part of the country where we're looking at an excessive heat warning, that's when things are expected to be even hotter. So you can think of the excessive heat warning kind of top of the list as far as dangerous weather and then still playing a role, but slightly less for that heat advisory. And then in between there with the excessive heat watch, that is more or less when we have the forecast looking into the next several days that are supporting a strong potential for temperatures that could be in this range where they could be dangerously hot, which again, looking at heat advisories, again, these are going to be primarily during the peak daytime hours where we're going to be looking at temperatures feeling like they're anywhere from 100 to 105 degrees. And that's going to be primarily during the afternoon and evening hours. So several hours during the day, when the sun is at its highest beating down, that's going to be allowing for some very hot temperatures when you're talking air temperatures just into the low 90s. But the humidity levels with dew points of the upper 70s, that is creating a very dangerous situation outside. Now, as far as the excessive heat warnings, that's going to be primarily when the real fuel temperature is going to be over 105 degrees for a couple hours during the point of the day. So there could be an instance where we start out with an excessive heat watch and then that upgrades to an excessive heat warning or could end up being back downgraded to a heat advisory. But nonetheless, they're still both very dangerous. You want to drink plenty of water and stay out of the heat as much as you can because there's a lot of things that can impact you with the heat on your daily basis. And that's going to be from the moment you step outside getting into your vehicle like many of us do each and every day and how quickly temperatures can escalate inside your vehicle. That is why it is so crucially important to make sure that you never leave your children, pets unattended in your vehicle, even if it's just for a few minutes, because look what happens when air temperatures are in the mid 90s in just 10 minutes. Temperatures jump 20 degrees in 30 minutes. We're talking temperatures in 130 range, extremely dangerous. That is why it is never Never a good idea for you to leave anyone unattended in your vehicle. And speaking of pets, another thing to keep in mind when you're out doing your walks, of course, you want to avoid walking during the peak heat during the afternoon and evening hours, but you definitely want to make sure that you're being careful where you're walking because the air temperature, even in the mid 80s, we could be looking at asphalt temperatures at about 130 degrees. We don't notice that because we typically wear shoes when we're outside, which is great. But for our furry friends, they're dealing with these temperatures directly to their paws and at 125 degrees skin destruction can occur just within a minute. So even when we're looking at temperatures into the mid 80s, it's still very dangerous, especially for your furry friends. So you want to make sure that you're walking early in the morning, later into the evening. Keep those walks short and always stick to those grassy and elevated surfaces. So again, they could be in the shade as well. They're not on the hot pavement, the black blacktop or again, there's asphalt because that is going to be extremely hurtful for them. And of course, they get hot just like us as well. And again, for more information, you can always go to 10tv.com and download the 10TV app.